so Cleveland will get the first possession. So the New York starting five. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Austin is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett at the three spot. Now here's Austin following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. Out to Brunson. Ireland with it. Brunson picks him up. It's stolen by Austin. Brunson the pass to Robinson. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Stolen by Brunson. Robinson misses. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. The Knicks pull it in. Outside for Randall. And just about a minute into the first quarter. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to Austin. And it's sent back by Allen. The long arms of Allen. But I bet having a seven-foot wingspan might make it a little bit easier to find some of these blocks. Mitchell passes to Allen. Allen a screen on Brunson. There's Garland. The shot goes in. First shot, first pass. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Austin. And he uses the glass on the lane. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You gladly take those. Here's Mitchell. And it's Jalen Brunson with the rebound. The Knicks have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. To the middle, here's Austin. And the dunk by Austin. Well, great feed there by Jalen Brunson. A terrific facilitator. Cavaliers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Next have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Austin Nola. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Mitchell. Garland's got seven points. And this is how you can tell Garland's been in the lab. This shot, he just shoots with confidence. Out left of the wing. Here's Austin. Mobley with the block. And they're able to recover. Austin no luck. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Mitchell kicks to Garland. Cleveland moving it around. It's rebounded by Barrett. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And stolen by Mobley. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Well, you look at Austin, leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And, of course, Donovan Mitchell. Austin, covered by Mitchell. Now Austin takes it inside, and the dunk by Austin. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, a man is going for the jugular. And New York, looking at who they've got, front court spots filled by Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Austin. And it's Robinson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Now here's Austin. Down low. And it's sent back by Allen. And that's an important rebound. It's 
especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter, especially. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. Well, throughout this entire game, they've done a great job of drawing fouls. And as a result, they got a ton of points from the free throw line. That's keeping them in it. And they also played exceptionally well in the paint tonight, taking advantage of their opportunity to work inside. Here's Mobley. Cranes the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. That's on Jalen Brunson. Defensive foul. Jalen Brunson. His first personal free throw, no good for Mobley. And the future is bright for Mobley. He is a big man who possesses the whole pack. Here's Austin. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Here's Mitchell. This one for three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Questionable shot selection with that three. Not really helping as they try and narrow the deficit. Allen passes to Mobley. Mitchell is double. Allen with it. Picked up by Barrett. Passes it to Okoro. Five to shoot. Allen kicks to Garland. Takes a three. And sinks the three-pointer. Garland has got 25 points. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Mitchell outside. To the inside. From seven. A kick out to Mobley. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. At the line for your It's on Mitchell Robinson. Evan Mobley. The second one drops, and that turns the lead to six. And so he's good in all three free throws, and that brings them within five. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. Here's Austin. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Second one is good. We both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up his lead. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by New York. It's led by as many as 14 points. Here's Austin. that contesting shot using that length to make a difference the deep three for Mitchell it's rebounded by Barrett there's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter here's Austin and so the New York Knicks have won the series